Are you coming to Bonaire to shore dive? Do you plan on diving LaDonia's Leap? Would you like to know how to find LaDonia's Leap? Well, that's what we're talking about in this video and we're doing it right now. Hey folks, Kevin here with a quick video for you on LaDonia's Leap, uh, which is an alternate way to dive the dive site Carpata. If you haven't yet watched our video on Carpata, I'll link it right up here. Make sure you watch that first because it will tell you all about the dive and all about the exit at Carpata, which is where you will be exiting here at LaDonia's Leap because once you take the leap here at LaDonia's Leap, you cannot get out of the water until you make it back to Carpata. So keep that in mind. This is just a quick video on how to show you where the entry is and how to find the trail down to the entry so you can get into the water, dive Carpata from LaDonia's Leap, and have a great dive. So right now, let's take a quick look at how to find LaDonia's Leap. Okay, for LaDonia's Leap, there's a clear path marked, which is nice, and there is a place to park on the side of the road, so you need to park here and then unload your gear and take it down to the leap off spot to the dive site then drive down to Carpata and have someone walk back up um, uh, to the dive site. They'll take their gear out and leave it with you. Uh, your dive buddy will. They'll drive to Carpata, then come back up to the dive site. That way your truck will be there once you get back, um, once you get down to Carpata. So pretty clear path up here. I will also show you this pile of rocks. There's a faintly painted yellow rock can't guarantee that's going to be there all the time. This is an unmarked site, so hopefully those rocks will still be there. Years ago, there's a yin and yang symbol painted into the road. You can barely make it out still. It is there, but it's super hard to see when you're driving. But there is a path, and we'll walk down the path to LaDonia's Leap. Okay, folks, you can see a couple yellow rocks. Those are nice. Hopefully those will remain there. They're not always there. Uh, the terrain is, is rugged, but you don't need a walking stick. It's not too bad getting here um, as you walk around. But come to those yellow rocks, and if they're not there, the best way to find the entry is one, watch the video. We appreciate you doing that. But you see the mooring buoy? This is the mooring buoy for LaDonia's Leap. Folks will do it by boat. But you walk out and you can see where you've got a little plateau down here. So set your gear down, wait for your dive buddy to come back um, from dropping off the car at Carpata, and gear up here. It's a nice little slope. You can sit there, put your fins on, then push yourself up and giant stride out into the water. Once you're in the water, kick out uh, to the blue. It's not a far kick. Uh, the reef drop off starts pretty quick here. Beautiful dive, but once again, once you're in here at LaDonia, you cannot get out until Carpata. Uh, there's no place to get out of the water here. I'll show you the shoreline. You cannot get out until you get down to Carpata up north. Uh, look for the anchors at Carpata. That'll help show you that you're getting close uh, somewhat to the exit point, then find the mooring buoy at Carpata, and you'll be good to go. But this is the entry for LaDonia's Leap. Come on out, take the leap. I really think you'll love it here. Well, hey folks, that's just about gonna do it here for us at LaDonia's Leap. We hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate that. Also, make sure you take a giant stride onto our subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification bell so you'll be made aware of when we have new content for you to enjoy. But right now, we're gonna gear up, get in, and we'll see you at the next dive site.